Good morning, Bravo Company. That's what they would say in the Marine Corps. Actually, be screaming and throwing shit everywhere. It was nuts. Here we go. So the only thing that you missed out on is I just used the bathroom. So I just went pee and poop and I used my bidet and that is it. So I'm going to show you my whole morning routine, start to finish. Does this always look the same? Not really. But does it have a majority of these things included in it? Yes, most definitely. The number one thing I got to say is being off my phone for the first 30 minutes to an hour of the day. Me working on my phone, I don't get a lot of off time. I don't set a lot of off time for myself, so this is imperative for me. Also imperative for you. Your mind is so fresh, it's so vulnerable, and at this time, it's really where we can really build our neurons to make us more successful, make better habits, have a better mindset just around life in general. So come with me, and let's do the morning. I wake up. My eyes are probably still like, yeah. Here we go. And of course, I don't usually sleep with clothes, but here we go. First things first. Let's get to it, baby. Let's get to it. I'm setting up my tripod. I'm going to do this a couple times throughout just because I do not have a second cameraman. So here we go. Boom. We are in my bathroom. We will raise it up a little bit. After... I go to the bathroom, do my thing on here, which doesn't take me too long. If you're not having regular bowel movements down there, got to fix your gut because it should be pretty easy flowing down there. shouldn't be too bad. So secondly, after that, I just like to give myself affirmations because my brain is so vulnerable. Like I said, I like to just look myself in the mirror. I'm so thankful. I'm so grateful for being here today and... For another day. Um, I do like to journal after this, but I like to do affirmations first. So I picked some affirmations out for y'all. I have a bunch, like I have like a whole folder full of them. I probably have like 70 cards, but today I picked out six cards for us. I usually do about three to five and I like to repeat it a couple times, but I like myself in the mirror. I think that's really important. You can even yeah, high five yourself. I know it sounds silly, but the more you do it, the happier, the more connected you'll be with yourself. So I made these for y'all because I think that they are kind of relevant. One, I found the one person who can change my life, me. And I always like look myself in the mirror. I'm not like just reading it off. I'm like trying to fully embody it. Two, I choose to make my world a, and my life an amazing place to live. I choose to make my world and my life an amazing place to live. My self-worth and happiness is not dependent on others. Start small, grow big. Small does not mean insignificant. Prioritizing myself is not selfish, it's self-love. I'm too amazing to worry about being perfect. I'm going to repeat these one more time. I found the one person who can change my life, me. I choose to make my world and my life an amazing place to live. My self-worth and happiness is not dependent on others. Start small, grow big. Small doesn't mean insignificant. Prioritizing myself is not selfish, it's self-love. I'm too amazing to worry about being perfect. Boom. Well, I love those. Those those really resonate with a lot of my growing journey. Um, yeah, especially the one that start small, grow big. Small doesn't mean insignificant. I would always put off everything because I wanted I wanted to have the best things. I wanted to do the best, but I would never do the baby steps it took to get there. And this means a lot to me because it means hey. Small, starting off small, starting off with one good habit, starting off with just drinking water in the morning, just staying off your phone, and then compounding on that is so important. And that's how we really climb that freaking ladder. That's how we really make momentum and we make shifts and we change ourselves internally and externally. So, boom. Next, I, today, I would probably shave. I'm not gonna shave in front of y'all, but I would probably shave uh, a couple people want to know, uh, many people want to know what I use to shave, but I actually, 
I tried this on vacation and it works really good. The body wash, the organic jar body wash works really well. Uh, this one also, Kiss My Face. This is from Sprouts. Pretty darn good. A bunch of ingredients, honestly. So, yeah, I'm sure a lot of y'all are rocking with OJ. You already know, Organic Jaguar. We produce the best ingredients, so that's, to me, the safest, healthiest, most effective ingredients. So, yeah, and then secondly, secondly, pff, we're on like the fourth thing already. What am I losing track? I like to do beef towel on my face. It's just a really good face moisturizer. And if you're about to shower or whatnot, you like showering in the morning to wake up, don't put it on before. Obviously put it on after. So, so just like the, this is like so good for anti-aging. Mm. Dang, look at that boy. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> okay, sweet. Now a lot of the supplements you see over here, most of them are from Santa Cruz Paleo, but I cannot take them on an empty stomach. So this is something after breakfast that I knock out. Boom, okay. Now I will take my, my OJ lotion. I'm actually gonna save that one. And I am wearing a tank top so I can have my freaking mic hooked up. But I definitely always lotion up. <laughs> As my good buddy Tanner would say, he's a pro big wave surfer. He says, oil up. <laughs> and yeah, we gonna oil up. But yeah, it just, it makes my skin glow. I love like walking outside and like, just, I don't know, my skin just changes from freaking dried out and boring overnight to bam, especially my tattoos and stuff. It's really nice. So it just makes me feel better when my skin looks better. You know, it just makes sense. It's like, oh, I'm trying to get my, my aura ring off. Boom. But yeah, I would, uh, I would usually like take my shirt off and get like all my, my whole body, especially my legs. I got some ashy ass knees. For a white boy, I got some ashy knees. Boom. Okay. Now, after this, I like to stretch. I gotta, gotta move my body. I got to, I've been sitting like this all night, right? Or a little across or like that. Gotta move my body. I want to feel as good as possible for as long as possible. So, come with me. We're gonna stretch. Here we go. You know. All right, give me one second. Let me set it up. I did like kind of already have this pre set up, but I want you all to see everything. And so another thing I would I would add to this morning routine. Sorry, I'm just clicking these legs is journaling. I think journaling is a really good for the vulnerable mind in the morning to like either just get some thoughts off your chest or to manifest more, to, to really dive deep into what you want to fully embody, whether that's, whether that's health, whether that's mental health, whether that's success, all of it, whether that's grieving, getting over a loss, a relationship loss, a dog, whatever, I've been there. So uh, this is, yeah, it was, journaling has been extremely effective for me during hard times and also during times of rewiring as well so all right how are we rocking right now can you see me down there kind of not really this is a very raw video guys now i am after stretching going to make my bed that's for damn sure that is imperative but i'm gonna wait i let it kind of air off uh the heat and whatnot created from my body i want my sheets and all that to air out i don't immediately make it so cool here we are yeah, y'all can see me. That's what I'm talking about. <sighs> now, when I get on my mat, my mat, you don't need a yoga mat. You can just use your freaking carpet or whatever. But I like to have a specific place where I'm like, okay, I'm going to go here and I'm just going to, to do the damn thing. And for me, it helps to have a dedicated spot. So this yoga mat, it's plenty of use right here. So, yeah, I would... Maybe it's not in your room, maybe you don't have as big a room, but make sure you have one somewhere just so you can have a dedicated stretch area. But you can also do this on the floor, it doesn't matter. You don't need a damn yoga mat. Now I like to say five things I'm grateful for before I start. Just again, I'm still working on wiring my brain, the fresh vulnerable brain of what I want to feel. So gratitude is a big deal with uh, just getting from a victim mindset to a 
grateful one or whatnot. So I'm grateful. I'm grateful to be able to teach all the things that I've learned. I'm grateful for all my learning lessons on my journey, all my mistakes I've had in my life that have put me where I'm at today. I'm grateful of my friends. I'm grateful of the vulnerability that I have with my therapist and that I had hoped to share with y'all. I'm grateful to be able to move my body. I'm grateful, I'm grateful of living in a place where I am safe. Well, here we go. All right, first things first, I'm gonna get into child's pose. Now this routine does change. I do change it based on what I worked out the day before, how I'm feeling, how are my hips, how are my shoulders, but I'm just gonna give you all the majority of what I do if I were to do pretty much the basics. So right now I'm stretching my triceps. Child's pose is really good. Just, I'm not, I don't want to like teach all yoga just because that's a whole another long video. But I am going to get in the poses and kind of go through it. So I'm stretching my arms out long. I'm sitting back on my heels. And I'm pulling my hands back to the back of my neck. And I'm really stretching on my triceps here. And just breathe. Be here now. Be here now. I tend to want to think about what's going on at the start of the day, who I got to talk to, what meetings I have, who I, what I got to do. And I'm just saying, you know what? I need to be here now. So this movement, this stretching, this breathing. <sighs> Focus on the breathing is really important just to bring me back to the present moment because that's all we have. I can't be I can't be at my eleven o'clock call today. I'm here right now at my seven thirty. All right, now we're gonna get a tabletop position, and we're just gonna get that spine activated. So I'm gonna do a couple cat cow. So cat, oh, exhale, inhale, just rotating that that spine up. And I'm gonna do it again. Cat, press, press that spine to the back of the ceiling, and cow, bend it. Now I like to look to my right, look to my left. My wrists are a little sore today. I don't know why. Stretch these puppies out. <sighs> yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah, let's go. Okay, I'm going to sit back on my heels again. Boom, hands up to the sky, stretch as hard as I can, and pull down. I'm really pulling my elbows back toward the wall. I'm really just tightening up that posture, tightening up my mid-back. <sighs> Do it again. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Now we're going to get a downward dog. There we go. And I'm just going to give those calves a little... A little warmed up. All these cracks and pops and creaking. This is so good, man. Because you know what? If I just went about my daily life, if I just immediately went from the bed to to working or to walking or whatever, I wouldn't feel as good. I wouldn't feel as limber. All right. We're going to do a little hip stretch. I'm going to bring my left foot to my left hand. Boom. And I'm just going to put that right knee down. And stretch that hip forward. Stretch that hip. And you don't stretch until it feels good. Don't be don't be cranking back. That's not the point of it. The point of this is to, to feel good and to get into the places where your body needs to maneuver. Alright, we're gonna go back, back to downward dog. And right foot. Stretch those hips. Oh yeah. Now from here, I like to do, let me just make sure you can see me. I like to do corrective, well, I'm gonna put the mic right here. This is posture correcting exercises. So this is really good for me being on my phone and computer often. I need to work the muscles that I don't usually work. So here we go. I'm gonna pull my hands to my heels. Ready, three, two, and exhale. <sighs> 
Three, two, one. <sighs> yeah. And again, three, two, exhale. And I'm really working on pulling my scapulas down my back. I'm trying to force my fingers to the freaking wall, man. <sighs> All right. That was nice. Now I'm going to do the same thing, but with my hands in front of me, and I'm just going to pull my scapulas back again. Oh, and then I need to have my forehead down, my neck down. I don't want any wrinkles in my neck. <sighs> nice. Okay. Now let me work in the shoulder joints with this one. So we're going to do like a hands that kind of like a, I'm getting a rested position. And I'm going to go... This is kind of a tough one to explain, but I'm going to take my hands as high as I can out to the sides, keep it as high as I can, keep it as high as I can, keep going forward, and I'm rotating my shoulders as I get forward. And then as I get to about here, I'm going to take my hands over my head, kind of in that prayer position again. Really tough, while keeping my hands elevated. And then same thing, going back, keeping my hands as high as I can, rotating, rotating, rotating. Boom, right back to the cuff position. Whew, nice. This is just working that range of motion for the shoulders. Once again, if you're on the computer, if you don't reach up ahead often, I mean, this is imperative. How often do we reach above our heads, you know? Maybe to, like, grab some organic avocado oil from the cabinet, but that's about it. Okay, here we go again. The, the hands as high as I can. Coming around, coming around, down, forward. Pull back. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Whew. All right, press up. Whew. Kind of get that, that abs a little stretch, get that lower back. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm feeling good, man. I'm feeling good. Okay, now we're going to get our hips to stretch again. So I really like this position right here. This is... This is the yoga squat. So this is something that I really want to challenge you to do. If you cannot get in this position, I want you to work on this a lot. But your heels need to be on the ground. And your elbows can be in the sockets of your knees. And you're just kind of sitting back as high as you can. This is really good for opening up the hips. This is also a posture of longevity. You should be able to do this till you're 90. Honestly, like this is something that's really imperative. So... I want you to work on your hips. I want you to work on your ankle mobility. You should be able to get here. This is where I want you at. If you can get here, I'm freaking awesome. I'm proud of you. All right, now we're going to put our right hand down, left hand high. All right, switch. Notice I'm not holding my breath. All right, now we're going to get on our back side. Here we go. And we're just going to give our hamstrings a little stretchy. So, hands at the back of the hamstring on the right side. And we're just going to pick our heel up as high as we can and try to get our heel as straight to the ceiling as possible. And notice I am breathing through this whole process. Do not hold your breath. Your breath is the, the power of this movement. Just do three on one side, switch out. Yeah. Now I really do a lot of specific things for myself. Like I've had some like hip stuff and shoulder stuff recently, so I'm gonna do some rehab after this, after the, the camera goes off. But yeah, I uh if you have a, an area that you're wanting to work on, hit that, hit it every single day, if not every other day. But make sure you hit it. Boom. Now we're going to activate our glutes. And we're going to sit in this bridge pose with our heels. We can, our middle fingers can touch our heels, and we're just going to press up with our glutes, glutes to the, to the ceiling. We're just really working on activating our butt, which is one of the core, one of the main things for our posture. Our butt and our core is huge. And I'm just pulling down the spine and back up. And come back down. 
And now I'm just gonna kind of give my body a scan. Okay, cool, we worked on the shoulders, worked on the triceps, the hamstrings, the back. I'm feeling pretty darn good. The ankles are pretty good. I'm, I'm feeling great. Now, this point in time, like I said, I would do PT. I would do a little, a little physical therapy, but I don't wanna, don't wanna keep you doing all my PT stuff. Now, I'm gonna make my bed. Making your bed is imperative. If you, if you do one thing, actually, I want you to do three things. I want you to do three things, and I, I know you can do all these three things. I'm gonna make it the bar low, because I want you to habit stack. I want you to compound these good habits because eventually you will get to where you can knock all these things out. And it's a breeze and it'll be a part of your morning routine and you will not sway away from it. No matter if you're in Costa Rica, Mexico, United States, whatever, you will do these things because it makes you feel so damn good. Boom, three things, water, no phone, make your bed. Those three things, water in the morning, no phone for the first 30 minutes at least, and make your damn bed. I'm telling you because having a bed made just shows that you had the discipline to do something. And even if you had the worst day, coming home to a freshly made bed is a really great thing. So um, yeah, your, in, your external condition reflects your internal. So what that means for me is if I have a bunch of clothes everywhere, if I have a bunch of shit out everywhere, my bed's not made, most likely my internal condition reflects. I'm a mess in my head. I got so much things going on. I, I'm not prioritizing myself. So here we go. I got some reverse osmotor, <laughs> reverse osmotor, reverse osmosis water with some salt in here. Yeah, that's damn good. Now I'll drink this for sure. I'll hold this within the next like 10 minutes easily. Boom. I'm gonna make my bed real quick. And then another thing I'm just gonna yap is I have organic cotton sheets. Now, is that a game changer? Is that a deal breaker? No, not necessarily. But you are spending a third of your life on your bed. I definitely don't want you to be sleeping on polyester or anything like that. So definitely over time, if you can afford it, get some freaking some good sheets, because it will help. Oh, I mean, I'm actually gonna wash my bedding today. It's been a, been a little bit. And then, if girls, if women come over and see a freaking nice bed made, pff, telling you, you're doing great. You're doing great. You're doing great. We're doing numbers, you know what I'm saying? All right, what else? The next thing that I'm gonna do after my bed's being made is get some freaking sun. And that's where, that's when I'll journal. That's when I will drink all my water. That's when I start to kind of get ready for the day. Like, okay, now I can focus on a little bit more of the future versus the present moment. So, boom. How long did that take? I was freaking yapping at y'all. Took me a minute to make my bed and it looks Transformed. It looks like, damn, like uh, somebody actually lives here. Ah, yeah. Let's go get some sun, baby. It's uh, May Gray in San Diego, so the sun is not, not crazy right now. Dang, my roommate just sprayed some perfume. I gotta turn on the fan, because fragrances. Not good for the endocrine system. Okay, here we go. So, I'm very lucky. I get to, I get to go outside of my balcony to get sun. You might have to like go to your yard or whatnot, but I get to go to my balcony. So, boom, we're outside now. And I encourage you that if you don't have a balcony, you can't just like immediately see the sun from your place of living. Yeah, go outside, take, even if you're in freaking Minnesota and it's cold as hell, bundle up, get your jackets on, but then make sure that you're looking near and at the sun. Your face unadulterated. <laughs> this is Mary. Uh, yeah, no sunblock, you know, just like 
looking at the sun. This helps really set the circadian rhythm. This helps really get your get your body to realize, okay, vitamin D synthesis. Let's wake up. Let's get the cortisol going. Let's freaking get Austin moving. This is where I would journal. So if you don't have any journaling prompts, we'll have it in the school for sure. Um, and I'll have, I'll have journaling prompts from beginner to, because when I used to journal, I had no idea what I was going to talk about. I had no idea. Um, I'll have stuff for, you know, people that kind of know how to journal, and then I'll have advanced stuff. Like, okay, you want to get deep with yourself, or you want to get deep with what you want to manifest, let's freaking get it. So, yeah, this is, once again, where I can focus on the present moment. I can also focus on the past moment of journaling, where it's like, damn, my dog died. Like, I want to talk about that. Like, I want to write about it, how it's making me feel. And, yeah, um, so many things. So, yeah, and then you can also, the future stuff you can talk about on the journal where it's like, man, by this time next year, I want to be making six figures. Or this time next year, I want to attract a loving partner. By this time next year, I want to rebuild the relationship with my mom and have whatever, X, Y, Z, you know. So, <laughs> Mary, you're a star right now, girl. Yeah, but that is simply my morning routine. Um, I wake up and I immediately use the bathroom. I have, thankfully, regular bowel movements because I have a really good diet. So, um, I'm using my bidet. And then after that, I'm saying affirmations in the mirror. And after that, I'm usually going to shave and I'm going to lotion up. And then after that, I am going to stretch five to ten minutes, make my bed, drink water, get sun, journal. Ah. <sighs> Now, what am I personally going to go do for the rest of the day? I am. I got a bunch going on today, but I am going to surf this morning real quick for like 30 minutes. It's pretty much my only time versus my morning routine. It's pretty much my only time for myself today. So uh, I'm very grateful that I can go and do that real quick. Um, and then I'm going to do a bunch of computer work. Got a few calls. And... Um, social media, all that kind of stuff. Y'all know what it is, so, yeah. But I'm gonna be prioritizing myself more. I think I've lent a lot of my time and energy to Organic Jaguar, to social media that sometimes I won't be eating breakfast till 2 p.m., and that's not okay. Um, that's not practicing what I preach, so I just wanna be vulnerable with y'all and say that, yeah, I also need to prioritize myself a little more, so. Prioritizing, this is affirmation, see it, it sticks in my head because I said it a couple of times. Prioritizing myself is not selfish, it's self-love. In me having a lot of self-love, I'm able to give more love. If my cup isn't full, then I can't give anything to you. So, yeah. Much of y'all, Organic Tarzan, welcome to the jungle. I'm so grateful that y'all have watched this. I really want y'all to implement everything you learned from this, but... Start small, grow big. Small does not mean it's significant by any mean. So, yeah, even if you just water, no phone, and make your bed, you're doing the damn thing. You're doing better than you did a week ago, a month ago. So I'm proud of you, and I'm really proud of you for taking this step to make yourself a better human being because the world needs, the world needs us. The world needs us to step up with physical health, with mental health, with spiritual health, with everything. We, we need healthier humans, so. And y'all are gonna help me. Y'all are gonna help me be accountable and um, just keep an open mind. And then with your questions, it's gonna allow me to think deeper and to understand what you're going through. So I appreciate it. Any questions, comment down below. Much love. You. Stay happy and healthy, guys.